The Life and Sad Ending of Sherman Hemsley Sherman Alexander Hemsley was born February 1, 1938, in South Philadelphia, by his mother, who worked in a lamp factory. His father, William Hemsley, worked at a printing press. He did not meet his father until he was 14. As a child, Hemsley was introduced to acting during school where the teachers would ask students to play different characters. The first play he did as a kid in school was about fire prevention, and Helmsley played the fire. He attended Barat Middle School, Central High School for 9th grade, and Bach Technical High School for 10th, when he dropped out of school and joined the United States Air Force, where he served for four years. On leaving the Air Force, he returned to Philadelphia, where he worked for the United States Postal Service during the day while attending the Academy of Dramatic Arts at night. He then moved to New York, continuing to work for the post office during the day while working as an actor at night. He started as Gitlow in the early 1970s Broadway musical, Pearly. Helmsley performed with local groups in Philadelphia before moving to New York to study with Lloyd Richards at the Negro Ensemble Company. Shortly after, he joined Vinette Carroll's Urban Arts Company, appearing in these productions. But Never Jam Today, The Lottery, Old Judge Mose is Dead, Moon on a Rainbow Shawl, Step Lively Boys, Croesus, and The Witch. He made his Broadway debut in Purley and toured with the show for a year. In the summer of 1972, he joined the Vinette Carroll musical Don't Bother Me, I Can't Cope ensemble in Toronto, followed a month later in the American Conservatory Theatre production at the Geary Theatre. In his, this production, Hemsley performed the solos Looking Over From Your Side and Act One and Sermon in Act Two. While Hemsley was on Broadway with Purley, Norman Lear called him in 1971 to play the recurring role of George Jefferson in his new sitcom, All in the Family. Hemsley was reluctant to leave his theater role, but Lear told him that he would hold the role open for him. Hemsley joined the cast two years later. The characters of Hemsley and co-star Isabel Sanford were supporting occasional roles on All in the Family, but were given their own spin-off, The Jeffersons, two years later in 1975 after Hemsley made his debut on the sitcom. The Jeffersons proved to be one of Lear's most successful series, enjoying a run of 11 seasons through 1985. Despite the age difference between Hemsley and Sanford, 20 years apart, their on-screen marriage was truly hilarious. Hemsley was nominated for a Golden Globe for his outstanding performance as George Jefferson. Hemsley continued to work steadily after the show's cancellation, largely typecast in George Jefferson-like roles. He teamed with the sitcom's original cast members when the Jeffersons moved to Broadway for a brief run. He later joined the cast of NBC's Amen in 1986 as Deacon Ernest Fry, a church deacon. The sitcom enjoyed a run of five seasons, ending in 1991. Hemsley was then a voice actor in the ABC live-action puppet series Dinosaurs, where he played Bradley P. Richfield, the boss of the main character, Earl. That series ran for four seasons, ending in 1994. Hemsley retired from television acting, although Isabel Sanford and he appeared together in the mid to late 1990s and in the early 2000s, reprising their roles in guest roles on such television series as The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, in commercials for The Gap, Old Navy, and Denny's, and at dry cleaning conventions. He also starred with Sanford in a touring company of the Real Live Jefferson's stage show in the 1990s. Sanford made a cameo appearance in the film Sprung. They continued to work together on occasion until Sanford began having health problems that led to her death in 2004. In 2001, Hemsley appeared as a contestant on the Celebrity Classic TV edition special of ABC's hit primetime quiz show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and won $125,000 for his charity. Hemsley made four appearances in the sitcom Sister Sister as Ray Campbell's father. He also made a voice appearance as himself in the Seth MacFarlane animated comedy 
Family Guy. He appeared in the film American Pie Presents The Book of Love. In 2011, he reprised his role as George Jefferson for the final time, alongside Marla Gibbs as Florence Johnston on Tyler Perry's House of Pain. He was inducted into the Television Academy Hall of Fame in 2012. Helmsley was a shy and intensely private man, described by some as reclusive. He avoided the Hollywood limelight and little of his personal life and was public knowledge beyond the facts that he never married and he had had no children. Sadly, on July 24, 2012, Hemsley died at his home in El Paso, Texas at age 74. The cause of death was given as superior vena cava syndrome, a complication associated with lung and bronchial carcinomas. He had a malignant mass on one of his lungs for which chemotherapy and radiation had been recommended. He is buried at Fort Bliss National Cemetery, Fort Bliss, Texas.